with regards to the people whose haters or naysayers are their parents. It's no different. It's no different. It's no different, okay? It's no different. You have to look at them all as one, all right? When the President of the United States is inaugurated, he makes an oath, and he's, he's sworn in to protect the United States from all enemies, foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. Someone who tries to hurt America and the Americans, who's an American, or from the Middle East. His job is to take a stance against all of them. So any negativity and anything which is wrong and incorrect, you have to deal with it the same. It doesn't mean that you disrespect your parents. It doesn't mean that you don't obey them in the good. It doesn't mean that you don't make dua for them. But she's telling you that you're not smart enough, you're not good enough. You can't let your guard down, oh, because it's my mom, maybe she's right. Or it's my dad, no. Right now, you don't look at him like your father, you look at him as a naysayer, as a hater, as someone that you're not to listen to at all, period. And the moment you let your guard down, oh, it's my dad, it's my brother, it's my uncle, you'll be swallowed whole. And then that voice will get in your head, you know what, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe it is too difficult, maybe it is too hard. Maybe it is beyond my reach. So this is the first principle. I'm not going to mention his name. We've mentioned enough names of non-Muslims today. Uh, he's a very, very, very successful person in many aspects of pop culture. All right? Everyone, you all know who he is. He has seven principles of success. Seven golden rules. And the first of those rules is never to listen to naysayers. Period. Whoever they may be. Your father, your mother, whoever it is, don't listen to them. Advice is one thing. Encouragement is one thing. Tough love is what? Is one thing. But someone who's just negative, don't listen to them, whoever they are. Even if they're your what? Your parents. Wallahu alam.